Those in long-term care facilities have been prioritized to be among the first to get the first round of Pfizer's vaccine. Our Eric Pointer spoke with a long-term care worker who will be getting the vaccine later this morning. He joins us now live. And Eric, what impact does she say the pandemic has had on their facilities and how could this change that? Well, she says that it's changed a lot of the things that they've been doing in their facilities, but the biggest impact it's had is that it's limited the amount of socializing that they're able to do with their residents and the socializing that their residents are able to do with others. But she's hoping that this will start to bring things back to normal. Now, more than half of the COVID-19 deaths in the state are attributed to the residents of long-term care facilities, and researchers believe they expect to see hospitalizations and deaths impacted in the next few months as the vaccine starts to be rolled out across the state. Now, health care workers and vaccinators are being treated first in the hopes that they will stay healthy enough to continue to treat people and to vaccinate others. Then residents of long term care facilities will be vaccinated because they are considered the next most vulnerable group. The woman I spoke to said that it was an easy decision to make when the time came to sign up to get her vaccine. Not knowing maybe some of the side effects that, that may happen you know, what they've posted out there of some of the side effects, that doesn't really worry me. I'd rather have a couple days of feeling kind of crappy than, than having the COVID and, and, and exposing residents to that. So um, I'm, I'm not really nervous about that. The Indiana Healthcare Association expects that long-term care professionals will be able to go to local hospitals to get vaccinated, which is what Stephanie, the woman you just heard from, that's what she's doing later this morning. And the residents will be vaccinated through clinics at their facilities. And doctors say that it will be many months before the vaccine is offered to the general public. Live in downtown, Eric Pointer, Fox 59 News.